Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and I hope all of you might be having a great day. Well, this video gonna be really amazing to you if you love to have an audio visualizer like this on your desktop environment. So don't worry, this also works on most of the window managers like BSPWM, AwesomeWM and the DWM. So let me show you what I am talking about. Just head over to the link provided on the description and you will find out the GitHub repository for the Glava or the Glava. I don't know how to pronounce it. You can just pronounce it as per your perspective. And Glava is a highly configurable OpenGL audio spectrum visualizer for the X11. And if you are on the Wayland, this is not going to work on the Wayland environment. Just make sure that you are using the Zork environment. So let's begin with the installation. Based upon your distro, if you are using the Fedora or RHCL based distro, then you can simply do the sudo dnf install glava. Or if you are on the Debian based distro or Ubuntu based distro, then you can simply do the sudo apt install followed by the glava. Or if you are using the Arts based distro, then you can use the AR helper like paru or ye. So for the paru, you can simply do the paru hyphen s followed by the glava hyphen zit. Or you can also install the glava. So that was not quite easy. So after installing the Glava, uh, you can just simply launch it by typing the Glava hyphen help. You can see out the help menu or if you want to explore the more about the Glava, then you can do this. So let's just go ahead and copy the configuration. So after installing the Glava, you just uh, you have to copy the configuration file so that is usually copied into your home directory followed by the dot config and followed by the Glava. So for that you can simply do the glava hyphen hyphen copy hyphen config. So I have already copied the configuration file. So just if you have not just go ahead and execute this command. And after executing this command you can just simply go to the cd dot config. Make sure that you are on the home directory and go on to the glava directory. And when you just do the ls you can see out that we have a lot of file. So let me just explain you about this file. Uh, the main configuration file is the rc.glsl so don't forget that this is the main configuration file this is where you can uh, easily specify the position for the glava and you can also specify the which type of the spectrum audio visualizer uh, do you want to use or you can also use out the circle visualizer you can also use out the bar visualizer there are five types of visualizer on the glava so you can specify them as per your need so I'm using the awesome window manager here. So let me just do the cat E and B followed by the awesome under uh, GLSL. So for the awesome window manager, we need to add this to the configuration file. So let me just go ahead and copy this. And let's open the rc.glsl configuration file. And let me explain you this. And on the first, you can see out the request mode circle. So you just don't need to remove this hashtag. Just don't remove that because that will break your syntax. You can see out that I am using the circle visualizer. I will drop the name of the visualizer on the screen. Just go ahead and try one of them. For changing the visualizer, you just have to simply replace this circle with the bars. Or you can also replace this with a graph. Or you can also replace this with the wave also. So I am just going to replace this with the circle. Let's jump to the another one. On the windows hint, just go ahead and set uh, out the option as you like. So for the awesome window manager, I am just going to do the floating set floating is equal to true and decorated is equal to true and focused is equal to false and set maximized is equal to true and that is the configuration file for my awesome window manager if the glava is not working properly just go ahead and change these settings as per your requirement so on the next we have the request set opacity so that is the really important for your window manager if you want the transparent by your compositor then just go ahead and set the native here so this plays a really important role on setting your audio visualizer transparent other configuration are not much important if you want to set up the title just go ahead and set up and here you can see out the another configuration for setting out the window geometry so that is for the x and y position with an height of the visualizer so if you want to make this on the center, just go ahead and change out the X and Y value. Another important option is the background option. So if you want to make the fully transparent, just go ahead and leave it default. And let's just go on to the another setting. If you want the Glava to be display on your desktop, you just have to set out the request set win set X win type is equal to desktop. If you want the Glava to be work as a dock, you can also do that. Just replace this desktop with the dock. And you can see out the other window type as well. Just go ahead and use them. 
and check them manually so here is the line where we have to add out the configuration file just paste that line here which you have copied from the presets as you can see i have already pasted here and just go ahead and uncomment these as well so add the x window state is equal to sticky and we have to uncomment the another option as well so that is the skip pager if you are using the window manager then you have to uncomment this as well so just uncomment the options uh, as per your requirements if the grabber is not working perfectly on your window manager or if you want to specify the audio backend then you can also do that if you are using the pulse audio driver just go ahead and uh, replace the auto with the pulse audio so i'm just going to use the pulse audio here and if you want to display the output of the MPD and the NCMPP on the GLABA, just go ahead and replace the source with the FIFO and you have to edit the configuration file of the MPD as well. So that is much for the configuration and other are just a useless configuration file. If you want to uh, explore them, just go ahead and explore them man manually. So let me just go ahead and write and quit from the new beam. And let's do the GLABA hyphen D. So it has been launched. So let me just make this small and let me show you. So as you can see that I have used circle visualizer. So that is uh, doing a great, really great on the my, on my screen. So as you can see that it's working very perfectly. Just go ahead and check out each of the visualizer and use whatever you like. So if you want this to be run automatically when your system boot up based upon your desktop environment or the window manager, if you have the auto startup file, just go ahead and add this command to your startup file. Just don't forget to add out the ampersand uh, in order to make this to be run on the background. And if you are using the desktop environments like Genome or KDE or the XFC4, you will find out the option for the auto startup application and you can easily add out. So that was it. It's really easy to use out the Glava on your desktop environment. So this much for today.